king stands alone. Not alone. Look it up! What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we are playing the evil campaign Helm's Deep Mission in the battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 which is reward for the patch 2.22. It's not fully finished yet and you will hopefully be able to download the version in the next update of the patch 2.22 with your BFME launcher. But for now, it's gonna be a sneak peek about the upcoming changes. We are still working on missions like Minas Tirith and so on. Okay, we can cancel the animation, no problem. There is no Orko. And as you can see, that's already a new animation. Beautiful, right? Okay, so um, that, you know, the difficulty has been increased drastically. So basically it's now way, way harder and you will also feel the difference in the, in the mission itself. But for now we will be building camps to get a little bit more army. We have still available command points. Our Saruman is level 10. And we have also very, very strong army with pikemen combos and also normal combos. Okay. So the plan is to build, first of all, Eco. And I'm gonna build the Siege Works here. I'm gonna build Armory, Uruk Pit, and even more Eco. That's the plan. Let's also build some towers, you know, just to feel safe. Later on, we will need them. Trust me on that one. <laughs> and we could, if you wanted to, also capture those uh, settlements. We have obviously two settlements on this map. And I will not build Lumber Mills because, you know, I don't want to waste my command points for the Lumber Mill workers. Our eco is looking good, at least for now. But again, we will need to make a lot of siege weapons. So let's start with them rams. And in about 6 minutes, Eisen, uh, Fangon is going to arrive. In about 15 minutes... Um, Rohan will arrive in about 8 minutes we will be able to build explosive mines ok so what I'm gonna do is I can already try to attack a little bit with my army I'm gonna also keep my Saruman with them just to make sure that we have enough leadership Saruman gives us 50% more armor and 100% more combat experience combat experience is not very needed even though we have still like level 9 combos but level 10 they can't of course level up anymore that's not possible we could, if you wanted to, also pick up the industry from the spare book, but our money is already looking very good, so we don't really need that. Okay. Oh, and there comes Rohan, boys. Take this, horseman. Again, our leadership is very important in this situation. And we can also use war riders later on. So we have actually... A one, two, three, four battalions. Okay, so let's go for attack. And when this is level two, we will also be able to... I mean, it looks like the Siege Ballista has been actually disabled in this mission. We cannot build any one of them. Because the idea, be beside adding new animations and making it more entertaining, is also to make it more challenging. There is an Elven army coming. Pressuring us, we need to build some towers. And normally when you would play this in the boring way, you could just, you know, spam Ballista and you should be good to go. And uh, there are people who are gonna abuse that and for that reason, we are trying to limit the amount of siege weapons you can recruit in those major missions, especially Minas Tirith, it's gonna be a big, big thing. Because we wanna make it like in the films, you know. In the films, the siege weapons didn't kill all the heroes and armies. It was still army against army, and that's what we are looking for. Okay, so we can now try to break through the gate, uh, because we cannot um, use any explosive mines for now. Or ballista, so we can use the rams to try to break the gate of Helm's Deep. 
All right, so let's go forward. I mean, we need to be careful, though, because in about 3 minutes and 40 seconds, <laughs> you know, some big army is going to come off ants. Let's use this. Let's go. I can use my fireball right on the spot. Here they come, boys. Sarman, go, go, go. Maybe I can steal them when I think about it. Can I steal them this way? Oh, look, Gimli. Oh, they are... Okay, we need to actually bail, man, when I think about that. Okay, we can demolish this. <laughs> it's already hard. You see Gimli is jumping from the top of the wall. And this AI is smart. They are opening the gate. So I cannot break it with my rams. And there is just too much defense. And if I would stay there a bit longer, especially when the war chant is off, I would have lost all my army. And I don't want this to happen, you know? Again, we have really, really important and strong combos. And we want to keep them alive. Okay, the plan is to get the Uruk Pit to level 2, so we can sell them to the Citadel. I mean, to level 3, so we have more production speed. And we can also recruit... Hold on, let me deal. What is this army, dude? Take this. Take this. Saruman, the Great Wizard. Let's use this. Boom. None can contend with the Villa of Saruman. I mean, you can see, there was not a big army like that. They've also added statues behind, so they have even more leadership. Rain is not available. I mean, we have not the power points for Rain, so we cannot even nullify the leadership bonuses. Uh, you know, look, there is Eowyn, level 7. Bunch of Elven warriors on top of the wall, also in the second stage. So, you know, long story short, it's definitely way different than it was before. And you can see, it's disabled. So in about 3 minutes, we will be able to get the mines. But until this is gonna happen, we need to be careful. Let's recruit more of these. And Walk Riders can actually bail. Okay. A new power is rising, and victory is at hand. Okay, we expanded the Urupit to level 3. That's what I wanted. Beautiful. And now we can make even more combos. Ideally, you want to make them with the Pikemen, because you are against Rohan. They will have a lot of Rohirrim. Even though the Pikemen combo is slightly weaker against combos, and against fire damage, because pikemen are way more vulnerable against fire than uruks are. But they are more versatile, so you can use them in multiple different places. And the pikemen in the front have like the revenge damage too when you play with Isengard. So when the horses trample into them, they will definitely get crushed, you know? Okay, let's go. So now we have a big army. We will also be recruiting... And there comes the end boys. Yeah. Uh, did you see this, this many ends before? <laughs> In Elm's Deep. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. Let's use War Chant, actually. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Don't let them hit us. Don't let them trample us. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. And more ends coming from everywhere. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's. We need to defend this. Because the ends are almost getting, uh, taking zero damage from the arrows. We need fire damage to actually kill them. Ends are quite beefy creatures, you know. They're very, very strong. But fortunately, we have like multiple level 10 combos. With Warchant, they will deal also more damage. So, and again, the ends are very vulnerable against fire. Oh, they are killing my Siege Forex, dude. That's maybe my bad for the repositioning. If you are wondering why we are getting money, it's because of the Scavenger ability from the Spellbook, which makes us rich pretty much in the campaign. And evil, you know, basically during the campaign in the mid to late game of the missions, we should definitely not run out of any resources because you always get like multiplier, which means you should be able to collect money anyway. So money should not be a problem. That means you don't even need to spend those, uh, spam those resource buildings in most cases. And as you can see, we get now explosive mines. So you cannot produce them, but maybe you can produce them now. Again, I didn't check the latest updates, but I also see ants coming from everywhere. <laughs> this is so fun, dude. I, li I like it. I really do like it. Oh. More ants. The more ants are going to war. So let's defend this before we lose the full castle. Full camp. For no reason. Are more ants coming? Again, 
uh, guys you need to be honest with me and also when you have any suggestions regarding to the regarding to the evil campaign you can let me know in the comment section down below but you need to be honest with me when you was playing the evil campaign there was not a single moment in which you was feeling overwhelmed or in which you was feeling to be in a, in a bad spot uh, defense wise you know and it, it, I mean, I personally didn't even notice that the ants are coming because they killed themselves. These ants are permanent, so you need to deal with them. They will not disappear automatically after a certain amount of time. And that will require a lot of micro. So when you don't know what's going to happen, you might actually be doomed. Okay, so the plan is now where are my explosive mines? I found them. My version is available. So we're going to bring them to number three. We're going to go in front of the wall. Because if you don't do that, they will target your explosive mines and then you will be in a bad spot. So you need to make sure to use these mines properly. You have three of them. You have like three attempts to break the wall. One mine is going to be enough if you place it right on the spot to blow up the wall. One is going to be enough, of course. But if you fail, you have two more attempts, you know. So you need to be smart. The way you want to do that is you want to place your army in front of the deeping wall. So basically, your army is going to be shot by the enemy units. You can go back. Okay, let's go. Saruman needs to be a little bit far behind. And we can also use Eye of Sauron. Okay, let's fight. There is a Legolas. We can also try to kill him. But maybe I can even try to steal some of them when I think about that. Let me move Eye. I stole a couple of them. That's very good. My explosive mine is coming. We shouldn't lose the level 10 combos though. Always keep, keep att uh, pay attention to your level 10 combos. They are very valuable. Let's kill this Legolas. Come on. Let's kill, kill the elf. He healed him. But we have too many, too many units. Okay. Oh, you see? That's how you want to do it. Now you can build ballistas after breaking the wall. You see? It's going to be available now in your siege works. So now we need to bail because the elves are charging, just like in the films, they are charging. Um, do, do I have Tainted Lands? No, I don't have the power points for it, okay? Oh, too much, too much destruction. There is also Haldir. Maybe it's a mistake what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Beautiful Wizard Plus from the young wizard. Where, is my, where are my walk riders? Go, go, walk riders. I'm going to heal you, Saruman. Don't worry about it. Nice, let's go. Trample them all. I'm gonna lose everything what I have. I need to make more army. Oh, look, I lost. I remember I lost this fully again for the ends, for the ends, you know. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so tough. <laughs> that's so hard. All right. We need to kill this Haldir. Take this Haldir. Oh, I don't want to lose my level 10 combos. I forgot to make more Uruk Pit 2. Is this going to be my first try and I'm going to lose it? No way, right? There's no way I will lose this. Right? Right? I'm going to demolish one of them to actually make a Uruk Pit. Luckily, I, will, I, were able to, I was able to save a lot of them. I mean, kill this before he shoots the mine. Can you imagine he shoots the mine for no reason? Okay, okay. So let's make a Uruk Pit. We can try to break this in, but I don't think it's possible. There is a Gimli level 7 guarding it. Okay, let's build some towers. We also lost this one, but it's okay. Let's send all of the units back. Boys, we need to be fast though. Because the, <laughs> the Rohirrim are going to come very soon, in about a minute. So we need to be careful. We can only call the reinforcements in about 13 minutes from now. Again... Unlike the good campaign, the evil campaign is not, about, uh, is not about defending. We need to conquer. So with the reinforcements, we should be in a good spot. But the thing is going to be to survive until you can call the reinforcements. There are command points kept, unfortunately. I'm going to sell them. I want to get the Uruk to level 2. That's my goal. And again, we have still two level, three level 10 combos. I think we lost the level 9 one, which is very unfortunate. We can use the formation to get a bit more tanky. My Warchan is on cooldown, but I can use whole ability.
Do you guys like that one? Do you guys like that one? I mean, huge, huge shout out to Balindru, our campaign developer. Again, none of this stuff in the patch 2.2 that I can do it alone. So without him, it would be definitely not possible. So huge shout out to him. And he's investing hundreds of hours to make this possible. Alright, so let's go. <laughs> let's go. Kill this Gandalf, please, if you can. Too much distraction. Look how many Rohirrim are coming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can use Eye of Sauron on my combos, but I lost the full, full camp, you see? I'm gonna try to body block with my units exclusively. I can also use heal here right on the spot. We should have enough damage leadership. Let's steal them. We stole a couple of them, I believe. I don't know how many we could, we could steal. But I see my command points are dropping more and more and more. And you can see the glorious charge, or in this case, to the king ability from Elma is lasting for a while. They have also crazy leadership. So I'm gonna try to bring this explosive mind to them. Shoot this explosive mine, please. Oh, but he shoot it too early. Let's kill Gandalf. Let's deny their leadership. Nice. Kill Eoma now. Without leadership, we should be able to deal with them. Level 10 combos. Very powerful, but we are losing them. Hardcore, actually. Hardcore, man. No, Saruman, don't lose. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Run, 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 run. White Beast. Oh, my bad. I lost all my Warcraft too. All of them. You see, it's overwhelming, and that's what I what, what it's supposed to be in the original version too, but it was not like that, unfortunately. Uh, we were kind of... Oh my, I got kind of owned, man, I'm being honest. I got kind of owned. I'm really happy that I didn't lose my combos, though. We have still the three level 10 combos. That's most important, because you can always revive your heroes, but you cannot replace your highly leveled combos or units. Remember, you have, like, only a limited amount of experience. You can gain permission. So getting the units from level 2 to level 10 is actually quite challenging. In the, you know, in the good and evil campaign. And the best thing, the one thing I enjoy about Tiffany One the most is because you can have like a relationship between you and your units. You can keep them, you can even name them after the mission. Which makes it quite fun, you know. Okay, I need to build the war pit too. Uh, can I recruit now mines? Maybe I can, no I can't, you see? Mines are disabled, but you can now recruit Ballista. Ballista. And here they come once again. Oh boy, they come all the time, you see? They are not giving you time. They are still producing units. That's a huge army on top of the wall still. So let's see. I mean, I remember I was able to win this mission without without the enemy units making it. I, I mean, I was able to finish this mission before um, the Eoma army could arrive. And if they, if they would arrive, they would be so weak without the to the King ability, without Gandalf being glowing. And... You know, all that crazy shenanigans, it would be just too easy. It was like a walk in the park. And the, the idea behind this is to make it more challenging, to make it more fun. And you can let me know your first impression in the comment section down below. Hopefully, it will be enjoyable for you guys also to play later on when it's released. Okay, I need to stop making Ballista. I want to make more combos, actually. You can also get this one, just why not? I mean, he's sending out peasants. They shouldn't be able to do much. Okay. Alright, we are waiting for Saruman at this point. Should be able to win this fight, no problem. But ideally, I want to be fully recovered before I'm going here. Again, the normal combos are better against fire, fire arrows and against archers. Because the Uruks are just way tankier in compared to pikemen against anything but horses. So when the horses are trampling, it's better to have the pikemen crossbowmen combination. But when it, when it comes to fight against... Yeoman Archers, for example, or Elven Warriors, it's much, much better to have the Uruk Crossbowman combo. Okay, Saruman is back in the business. That's very good. Now we are command points cap, boy. So we cannot produce any more units. But we have now a big army. And when we... We can also extend the command points this way. Because when they will be recovering, they should be able to extend. So I'm going to group them all up together. And then I'm going to use heal on them. Oh, Saruman. Where are you, my friend? Waiting. To be in range. There we go. Okay, we have a massive army. We can also use the Ballista to shoot this gate down from a long distance. And now we can go ham. I mean, I was actually... For I forgot to make some board barriers. They can, they can also be very good, actually. And remember, 
There are some confirmed things for the evil campaign. First of all, we're gonna be adding um, the hero Gothmog. Because as you guys know, Mordor has been quite boring in this campaign without any heroes. He was kind of forced and stuck with the troll spam and Mumma kill spam later on. But you couldn't even recruit your, you know, use your Witch King beside in the mission Minas Tirith. So Mordor was pretty boring to play, you know. And Mordor will have definitely Gothmog added in the map Oskiliath and then you can keep him. And also we will add Sharko to the evil campaign. Oh, where is my Saruman? I need my Saruman. Okay, go Saruman. And use the Barista once again. I mean, this combo is so badly damaged. That's not good. Yep, I'm gonna send him back. No, it's not actually. This combo is badly damaged. Let's fight. Go Saruman. Okay, nice. We should be able to win this, no problem. Again, money is not a problem. You see, with 60,000 plus uh, scavenger plus 1.5 multiply on the resource, we should be kind of rich. We are also going to be able to break the gate very soon. And once we go inside, we will also use the Warchant in Eye. But for now, we don't need to use it. Warchant is only uh, available for a minute. Okay, we broke the gate. Not exactly like it's shown with the ram, <laughs> but we broke the gate. And you know me, I'm not, I don't want to play with Ballista. You can play it the boring way and shoot them from a long distance, but I'm not aiming to do this the boring way. I want to fight with my army, you know? That's my goal. I'm going to feed my Ballista to them. Maybe I can recruit some war riders instead, you know? Let's use war chunk, boom. Let's use heal, boom. We have now very, very strong combos. I can also use Eye of Sauron on them. So basically 50% more damage and armor from this. 50% more damage and 50% experience from this. And 50% armor from this. So we get pretty much 100% more damage. 150% more combat experience. And also 100% uh, more armor. So double damage, double armor, and more than double leveling up. All the Rohirrim are coming, boys. We killed, they killed Palista, which makes room for some Vork Riders. I hit one combo, that one crossbowman there. I'm gonna combine the Uruks with them. And that's how Saruman should have been doing it all along in the films. And for me personally, the evil, I mean, the good campaign is very nice because it gives you the chance to replay the films. You know, you basically see what you have seen in the films, basically in the game. But the evil campaign is also very interesting. If I have to make a choice, I personally like the evil campaign more because it shows you what could have been done when evil would be the winning winners. You know what I mean? That's the interesting part about that. Okay, Saruman, you can blast them. Oh, away, plebs. Come, my servants. Come on, Uruk. I'm gonna use Palanti on you to get faster. To make you faster. Faster. It's used to fireball. I don't know why we are using it, but let's use it anyway. And not many people know, but also um, your basic attacks with Saruman are also dealing a lot of damage. I mean, it's kind of not good to show it on a on a peasant. You can even one-shot Rohirrim with one of the attacks from Saruman. He's, you know, he's like really high melee damage. 180 melee damage. It's more than Aragorn. I mean, Aragorn has like the buff from Anduril in Blademaster. But still, you know, it's very good. I mean, he's attacking very slow. That's what it is, but still. Let us go now. Let us go now. You can't use this inside the camp of... Oh. Oh, never mind. They are attacking me. Let's get more of them. Okay. The plan is to go out, use heal, and then we're gonna go ham again. But again, guys, please let me know what do you think about this mission so far. Again, um, it's not fully finished, so it's not released yet. It's like a beta version of the campaign. Um, we are still working on Edoras, on Isengard. The plan is to change the major missions to make them more intense and much this way also much more enjoyable. Use it. I can't use it, really? Okay, we are waiting for the recovery. And now I have my war riders, that's pretty good. And what I want to do is I want to group them all together, use war chant and go ham. I mean, I can even call my army of lords. 
or even more leadership. Now we have like 727 population. <laughs> Very strong army, dude. And also we will make it so you can merge the armies later on. Basically, if you know, as you know, you have like two Isengard armies. It means Lourdes and Saruman could never be united from the beginning. So you could always call them as a reinforcement later on, but you could never be united them. It's also the keys for the good side, good campaign. But remember, the good campaign is way more heroes. And then splitting the two heroes from Isengard throughout the entire mission, uh, throughout the entire campaign doesn't feel right. So after Helm's Deep, you will be able to group them in one big army. So Lord Saruman, but also Sharku are going to be in one team. And Mordor uh, confirmed is Gothmog, but we will also try our best to add Mouth of Sauron to the game, to the evil campaign exclusively for the Mordor faction. And maybe even some uh, Black Riders, you know, the Nazgûs on, on their horse. So the plan is to have like three, four heroes for each uh, individual faction. So you have much more fun because I believe the heroes are that what's fun in this game, you know? All right, so Lourdes, army, Saruman, look what kind of a big army we have. Now we can just go ham. Again, you know, the more opinions, the better. So you can, besides letting us know what you think about this mission so far, about this campaign so far, you can also give us suggestions about what could be changed, what could be added. But please keep in mind that not everything is possible in BFME 1 uh, because of the limitations. So we cannot simply add this or that. I, I wish we could, but, you know, it's not easy. It's a horrible choice from me. I'm gonna lose him. I can't heal. Oh, man, that was bad. That was really bad. Can you kill this Theodin? Look, Theodin. <laughs> you can get crippled, son. Alright, so I cannot produce any more units, but I can bring, eventually, my Saruman back. Theodin is gonna die now. The king is dead. Theodin will no longer stand in the way of Isengard. Die, son. I mean, I, it was a mistake from me. It was too greedy with Saruman. Like, there is just too much damage power on, on the spot. You can see they're also shooting from above. Again, you know, not everybody is gonna play it the way I'm gonna play it. And even though I'm not focusing on the gameplay at all, you can see because, because our army is so strong. Our army is so highly leveled that it doesn't matter how many units are on the wall, you can still kill them. But I'm always thinking, what happens if the player is rushing to Helm's Deep? You know, making it to Helm's Deep with like level 2, level 3 units instead of level 10 units. It should be still doable in either case. So it's going to be, of course, easier for the, for the person who's committing way more time into the mission, into the campaign, trying to level up all the units and heroes all the way to level 10. It's going to be much more, uh, you know, easier for him to do that. But it should, it should also be still doable for somebody. Look, there is Aragorn. <laughs> Aragorn. Look, you see, we have just too much damage output at this point. And also for the final version of this, we will make sure that Legolas is going to deal more damage for this mission specifically. And also Aragorn and Gimli are going to be way tankier. This is not fully finished yet. Uh, we will definitely add more into this. Um, for example, we are planning to add like a glorious charge moment at the end when Theodin comes. Um, you know, or, or uh, for red down, and then you hear the horn of Helm on my hand. Shall sound in deep. You know what I mean? That's like still not a fully finished version, but it's like a sneak peek about what changes we are thinking about. Again, the mission and the campaign isn't finished yet. Hopefully, it's going to be finished in December 2022. So before the New Year's Eve, you will be able to play it. All right, so we killed everything. We have still a very strong army. You know, this is just too strong. <laughs> the forces of Isengard. The plebs, the peasants, they don't stand any chance against the mighty Uruks. Because remember what Gimli said. This is not a of mindless orcs. These are Urukai. They're armoristic and their shields broad. And Minas Tirith, we are hoping it's going to be overwhelming too. Because it's the final mission. And we are victorious, just like that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, guys. Um, if you did, let me know in the comment section down below. If you didn't, also let me know what would you like to change, what would you like to add, and what would you like to have during this mission. Again, it's very tricky because it's an early game mission still. You know, it's not like Minas Tirith. Uh, in which all your units are going to be level 10. 
So we are trying to make it still playable and enjoyable for people who are not going to get all the level 10 combos. And after um, the Helm's Deep, you get to play for the first time ever with the Mordor faction in the Nir Harad. And we are also going to try to add some heroes, for example, maybe Mouth of Sauron to this mission. The plan is to not only make it more challenging and more difficult, but also make it more entertaining with new animations, with new content added to the game, like heroes for the evil faction, because that's what evil factions are lacking of in the evil campaign. But again, these are my opinions. We have only a team with like four members, so we are hoping for some feedbacks from you guys. As you guys might think, it's very time consuming to think about it, to implement it, to change it, not only for Palindru, but also for the coders to add those codes with the sound effects, everything to the game. So hopefully our time is not wasted and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. In either case, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't, let me know why in the comment section down below. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.